Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. Today's quick video, I'm going to be talking about how to build mobile response websites inside of Groove Pages. Of course, if you don't have a Groove Pages account, you can grab one real quick for free in the link in the description in the pin first comment, and you can follow along as I show you the features inside of Groove Pages for mobile response website creation. So here we are inside of Groove Funnels and we're going to click on Groove Pages and then once it loads up you'll see that you have three free sites that you can build. As you can see I've created all three of my free sites so I'm at zero so if I wanted to unlock unlimited sites and funnels I would need to click this green upgrade to pro button right there. But for now let's go ahead and just pop inside the editor on this site right here and show you what I'm talking about when creating mobile responsive sites. So here is just a site with a simple background and some headlines and a link. But what I want to focus on is this block up here at the top or this nav bar. So again, this is just for demonstration purposes. So it may or may not make sense to you, but it's again just to show you the feature. So let's say that in this site, we like this nav bar, but we don't like it in one of these displays up here. So at the top, you'll see this pink bar. And what you have is the desktop, the laptop, the horizontal tablet, the vertical tablet, and then a standard mobile device. So if you click on each one of these, you'll see what this page looks like in the preview. So in the laptop, it's going to look like this. In the horizontal tablet or mobile device, it's going to look like this. In the vertical, you're going to see that this is going to change into a menu with a hamburger icon here with the menu drop down for a typical mobile device. So it is by default mobile responsive because you don't have to do anything for it to figure that out and do it as well as in a standard mobile device such as a phone. So again, you have your phone, you have your tablet here, you have your horizontal tablet. But as you can see here, the nav bar at the top is sort of grayed out or transparent because it's being hidden. Let me show you what that looks like in the actual published page. So here's the page as it's published. Again, this is in a desktop or a laptop. And then I'm just going to grab the Chrome browser and just start making it smaller. And what you're going to see, it changed there for more of a laptop screen. And as I scroll down, you're gonna see when we get to that right there, which would be the horizontal screen size for a tablet, the nav bar went away. And then as we keep moving this, you're gonna see it's going to come back. And again, now we have the hamburger menu and you can see there the menu is right there. And it's going to maintain that menu even if we go all the way down to mobile. Again, I will show you how this works when I make it bigger. It's going to stay and it's going to disappear there. As you can see, it stays disappeared there in that screen size for the horizontal view on a tablet. And then you're gonna see that it's going to come back for mobile and desktop. Now I'm going to go back to group pages and show you where that configuration setting is so you know exactly how to do that as well as how to control the other settings for all the other elements inside of group pages when you're talking about mobile or responsive websites. So here we are back into group pages and if we click here you'll see again pay attention that all of these are highlighted in this pink color. So they're pink and sort of red when you hover over them. The option we want to look at is when we click on the element, you'll see the configuration pane for the nav bar five. We want to come down to layout and what you see here is display. And under here we have a lot of options and the one we're looking for is none. So at this point, if we only wanted to change for this horizontal tablet right here, because before we do that, I'll, I will click on the laptop and you'll see here that it says block. When I click here, you're going to see that it still says block but it is grayed out. When you click here, you're going to see it's a block and it's shown. When you click here, it's going to see that it's still block and it's still shown. The issue is you're seeing the configuration for all the devices. So if you want to control just that device, you have to double click it. So once you double click it, now you're going to see it's grayed out or transparent. You're going to see that layout option display is none. So now that we've double clicked that, you can see these are white and this one is red, but the other options are white. But now if we click on that one again, you're going to see layout display. Again, check it. It's red, so it's displayed. Click this one. It's red. Display is display. Click here. It's red. All the other ones are white, so they're not selected. 
So this option is controlled under this element by the fact that you selected this in the nav bar right here. So again, if you were to highlight all those, that would be the configuration setting across all the elements. So it's just that simple to control and build mobile responsive websites for all the elements inside of the pages. Again, just double click that and then you set the setting for your element depending on what you need or not to include changing font sizes, colors, backgrounds, and of course, like I showed here, the nav bar cannot be shown for that screen size by simply setting the layout to none. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer here on the end screen, click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, just like the videos you see on the end screen, click those, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.